Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip and I'm going to be showing you how to add uh, these spikes onto this ball. Uh, so this is also another model that I'm, um, I'm making for my medieval pack uh, that I'm selling, I'll be selling on CG Trader and Turbo Squid. Uh, you can watch, you can follow the videos on this second channel uh, here, uh, so you can go and subscribe to that. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, get started how I made uh, this. Uh, so, we can start by making uh, the ball here, uh, which should be something simple. I don't want to use uh, this UV sphere or icosphere because uh, they add uh, vertices, unnecessary vertices that I wasn't going to be using. You can see how mine uh, looks. <coughs> it doesn't have a lot of vertices uh, like what you would get from an icosphere or a UV sphere. And uh, the way I did that is that uh, I just used a cube and uh, added the subdivision surface of two and then applied uh, that uh, to get uh, that uh, without using a lot of vertices but still having the same uh, spherical shape. Uh, then I just uh, think I pivot this edge, control shift B, uh, control shift B, uh, mouse wheel uh, to add more uh, vertices then just play around with the profile uh, to convert it to to convert it to convert it into uh, a circle and then hit F and then shift alt S1 to just make it more rounded uh, then we can extrude that uh, insert palm and you have that shape then you can add another uh, Subsurface uh, modifier to uh, make it even more rounded. You can see there is some kind of sharp corners going going around, going on uh, on these parts here. Uh, you can try reducing those by just selecting all the vertices and then right click, uh, then use smooth uh, vertices. It should try to smooth the nose out a little bit, uh, but uh, you're going to lose uh, the sharpness around here. Uh, so you can just select that scale it in the y-axis and maybe add a supporting loop around there and uh, another one around uh, that uh, to maintain uh, the sharp edge uh, for that. I uh, can still see the sharpness there but uh, you can just go in and manually when you start, start pushing them in using Alt S to push them along their normals. Uh, but uh, since we are going to be putting these spikes on top of this uh, you shouldn't be that obvious. So let's make the spikes. So the way I made the spikes is that uh, I added, I used a cube. Uh, scale it down a bit. Let me make sure this is recording. Good. Uh, then I selected the top face. I scaled it in, and then added, uh, I added a bevel modifier. You don't need to add this if you don't want to. And uh, and the reason I usually add a bevel modifier, uh, these assets are going to be used in game, so this would be a lot of polygons uh, to use. Uh, but uh, uh, I usually remove. I don't know why. I, I think I applied the bevel modifier for this, but uh, uh, you can have the mod the bevel modifier there, and then when you're texturing, uh, it would give you that smooth edge, and then. When you're exporting it uh, to another game engine, uh, you export it without uh, the bevel modifier, but uh, you still have uh, smooth edges in your textures uh, in case you're using something like uh, pointness and, uh, yeah, pointness. Um, yeah, so uh, since we have this, I don't need this bottom face, so you can remove that. And uh, also make sure that uh, you uh, your mesh sits on its pivot point so that you can rotate it on its pivot point and uh, now we can select this go to the particle system and add a hair a particle system system this is a lot of hair so we just need about 50 and uh, we can scroll down uh, to uh, the render settings select object and then select uh, this object. Uh, the orientation will be quite off so you need to play around uh, with it a bit 
So if we pick rotation, object rotation, when did I pick here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. <coughs> can see just rotate just rotate the object around until you see that uh, you're getting the orientation right so let's rotate this on the y-axis 90 degrees and you can see so the axis might be different for you so you just play around with the rotation axis and see uh, what you're getting uh, so uh, this is good enough but I don't like how some of them are intersecting and uh, it's very hard uh, to get uh, the right setting of where they are not intersecting just by playing around with these uh, here, with these uh, particle settings. So what I usually do is I just, since there are not a lot of particles, uh, about 50, I'll just apply, uh, let me push this behind. You know what, it should be and below that. So what I usually do is just convert this so that I have control over, so that I can select each particle and uh, move that around so uh, let's um, but I need to first remove get rid of these particles now residue particles and now I can uh, select these and start moving them around uh, the problem is that uh, if I try moving them around it's hard to keep them on the surface of uh, our ball so what I would do is uh, select this uh, ball shift S cursor to select it so that I have my pivot point uh, to the center of uh, this object and then I select the the any spike I want to move and then hit uh, uh, the full stop or dot on your key on your keyboard uh, to access this uh, pivot point menu and then select cursor as your pivot point uh, so that now we can rotate these objects around uh, the 3d cursor now I can just if you double if you uh, double hit uh, your rotation key which is R you will get this uh, kind of random or dragging rotation uh, that you can drag around uh, so you can move this start moving them around in areas you want so so that they're not intersecting and uh, they're evenly uh, distributed Uh, put this around there uh, 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 uh. yeah so I think that's it uh, that's how I made this and uh, now you can just select everything and uh, join them into one uh, one mesh okay so we have Oh, we had an extra object here that I think was using the same uh, object data, so that's why you see a duplicate of it. So we just need to get rid of this extra one, and now we retain uh, this. Now, if you want to make them a little bit sharper, uh, since these share the same uh, area, uh, the faces on top have the same area. Okay. Uh, uh. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, since uh, these share the same area, have the same surface area, uh, these top uh, edges, sorry faces, you can hit shift G, uh, select them by area, uh, which is selecting everything. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, shift G. Uh, okay, you can select them by perimeter and then use alt s to push them outside or you can just scale them uh, since we have the pivot point uh, still at, it's still in the middle you can just scale them like that directly like that oh we do have this rogue uh, spike uh, we don't need that 
is in the wrong area so yeah again you can select these by perimeter to scale them in or yeah something like that you can even push them inside like that so yeah uh, again if you want to watch the entire process of making this asset including how i made these uh, you can just go uh, subscribe to my second channel and uh, watch uh, those time lapses and uh, videos uh, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial